morning and welcome to Taipei. Anyway, we're on the Osmo Pocket right now. I haven't got face tracking on or anything, I've just got it on its basic setting. I don't want to be like the center of the screen. No one wants to see me. Plus, in proper photographers, I have a thing called rule of two thirds. No, one third. I don't know what third it is. First impressions of this part of Taipei. I can't do Taipei because we're only looking at like, one small area, aren't we? It was unfair to judge a city on one small area. I remember when we first visited Penang. It took us years to go back because the area we were dumped off in was shit on a stick. We went back a few years later in a completely different part of the city and uh, had a fabulous time. I absolutely loved it. Right, we have a proper crossing. 30, 32 seconds to get across. I think I'll make it. In Malaysia, it's, every third shop is a phone shop or phone accessory shop. In Thailand, it seems like every third shop is a 7 Eleven. In here, it seems like every third shop is a bubble tea shop. Obviously, in all cases, it's an exaggeration, but you know, we're not here to give facts. I don't know how expensive a city um, Taipei is, how like, expensive a country Taiwan is. Um, but the food on the street and stuff is cheap, cheap enough. For sure. I was going to try and find a park. It's a park down here. It's getting this quiet little side road. Yeah, I did find an MRT. That's good. MRT we need because we want to get some travel cards so that we can travel around. So let's have a look. So this is Songshen Elementary School Station. Hi, can I get an easy card here? I have two, four, are they multi-days or just uh, how much money is on them? No, uh, you must uh, spend the 100 Yeah, okay. Okay, give me two cards with um, 400 on each. Okay, so okay. you need the two cards yeah. and each one the top of 400. Thank you, yeah. So, getting our card, you can see it's nice and simple, very helpful people. And... Uh, the card is good for so can you use for train and anything else for this or not for buses uh, you take a metro bus uh, convenience store you buy something oh okay you take the railway but the railway not the every station can use it you okay brilliant thank you very much thank you okay many thanks shishi Brilliant, thank you. Hey there. So what we've got is two cards, each with 400 new Taiwanese dollars on, and oh, I can't remember what that is. It's too early for me to be dip thinking, actually. Let's have a look. What Taiwanese dollars? Oh. So it's about 52 Malaysian ringgit, which is about 10 pounds, 10 English pounds. So not that much money. But we've got two cards now. We put them in our pocket. And we've got a map. This is supposed to be one of the best uh, MRTs going, actually. Let's get back up to the street. We're trying to find the park. Uh, I'm not sure which way to go park up here somewhere. Ah, here we go, look. Map behind me. Map's everywhere here, it's good. So we're trying to go to the Fine Arts Park, Fine Arts Park area, and we are here. So well, I reckon I should keep going straight down this road, and then turn right. Of course, I could use my Google Maps, 
But that ain't no fun. We want to do exploring. So it's kind of like parts of Singapore, but not as modern. But the older parts of Singapore kind of looks a bit like them. So everyone seems to wait at the traffic lights, uh, sorry, at the, the crossings here. So I'm guessing, um, I'm not sure there's any jaywalking rules, but why risk it? We're in a foreign country. We're in no rush. And away we go. Yes. Everyone very nicely waited. How's it going in there in Pewterland? You guys alright? So this trip is part of our basically three monthly visa run from Malaysia. We're going to get a 90 day visa upon arrival. So we have to go out and do a holiday. For a few years you could literally just pop across Singapore for a day and come back but they don't like that anymore. But they even get to the point now where they didn't like the fact we go out for a week and come back. Which is why we're looking at alternatives, other countries maybe calling. Mexico is kind of on the list at the moment, but... Nothing's written in stone. Yeah. Definitely looking for options. Oh, my wife would be happy with these. My wife loves old sewing machines. Just had a big collection of these when we were in the UK. Wow, that's quite some soup. Oh. oh, I used to work in the building trade years ago. That's the smell of someone cutting through concrete. You never forget that smell. A mashi. Oh, this looks like a Sushi! I don't know how expensive the sushi is. I love sushi. Okay, and beer for 100. Alright. There we go! Hey, tell number one! Tell number one! I was asleep. He'd have been calling me for ages. Yeah, I can't. This, this place is like nowhere I've been actually. I can, I can, I can feel some Singapore. It's definitely nothing like Malaysia. It's too clean. The paths are too good. People seem to obey traffic lights and stuff like that. They do here. It's the beetle nut, which some local nut they that they chew. It's just like a, a speed-like uh, effect. Our driver yesterday, he was chomping on that shit. And it's kind of like um, those dudes that chew tobacco spitting into a cup. Uh, it's fucking gross. If you chew tobacco or chew beetle nut, you're fucking disgusting. It's fucking horrible. Maybe not to you, but to the people around you. Fill your cup with fucking that gunk. Disgraceful. So one thing that, that is definitely different is compared to, to let's say Malaysia or Singapore, English is not most definitely not a well-spoken language here, or sorry, uh, a second type language here. And I'm not saying it should be. I'm just saying it isn't. So if you're travelling, it's uh, a bit more hit and miss. There'll be a lot more places you'll go to where the signs are only in Chinese. Where the staff only talk Chinese. Or maybe other language, but not English. Fine, we just, you just have to get around that yourself. But things like the MRT is done in dual language, English and Chinese. So getting around is easy enough. Cars here are left-hand drive. So they drive on the right. All right thinking they should drive on the left course which is Malaysia Thailand UK course and follow the American way it's not healthy uh, actually I think Japan drives on the left as well 
Let's just say the best company, country to drive on the right. Okay, we found the park. Oh, it says Taipei Expo Park. May Shou Gate. I don't know where I am. This oh, it says Eco Park over there. This one says it was the uh, Expo Park. And I want to go to the Fine Art Park. Maybe it's just one park with lots of different names. We've got an inclusive playground. What the fuck is an inclusive playground? Is that for like LGBTs as well? HLBT, ABCDs? I don't know. Wang De Wong. Wang De Wong House Theatre. Oh, that's supposed to be the expo hall, what we just went to. I don't know. I do like parks, they're a good, good way to spend time. Alright, so I'm guessing at the end of this I turn right. This is a floral tunnel, apparently. There we go. What do you think? Is that a floral tunnel enough? Maybe at different times of the year it is more so. But at the moment it's very bare. I'm sure that's quite nice and cooling in the right, uh, right weather. <laughs> Let me get closer, get to the middle. And then we're going to turn right, hopefully. But look at this. Look at these trees. Look at that. Is that cool? Very cool. I learned yesterday that there were six poisonous snakes in this country and believe me none of them sound good you got pit vipers everywhere and cobras basically you've got the old camera 